YouTube. In today's video, we're going to be going over one of the best upgrades you can make to your handheld gaming PC, and that's going to be storage. As you can see right here, I have the WD Black. This is the SN770M NVMe. This is the M.2 and the 2230 sizing. Now, in that respect, this fits perfectly into the ASUS ROG Ally. Actually, I've already done an install into the ROG with this exact same drive. Now it's a slightly different sizing from the Legion Go, but we correct that with this adapter, which you can find in the link down in the description below. You can also pick up one of these WD Black NVMEs, which are made specifically and ideally for these gaming PC handhelds. There's also gonna be the need in today's video for an external uh, hard drive enclosure, which you can use so that we can clone our internal storage so that way we can just plug and play instantly without having to go through a you know reformat process or reinstall we're going to cut all that short i'm going to show you guys how to do it in this video today so let's get into it first thing first we're going to get inside of the legion go you're going to boot it up and what we need to do is transfer this internal storage and make an exact clone onto our new storage. This is the one terabyte version. So we'll look at those speeds and then we'll check the two terabyte WD Black once we put this inside afterwards. So as you guys can see from the test I ran earlier, the speeds are actually impressive with the stock internal. We're gonna see if we beat these. After we do the swap, we'll run another speed test benchmark. And we're gonna test the speeds of the WD Black in comparison. As you guys can see, it has up to 5150 megabytes per second, which is quite impressive. Now the two enclosures, I'll have the link down in the description below. You guys can pick which one you wanna go with. Now when it comes to the Sabrinth, what I like about this one is it's literally a press of a button and then you have access. There is included a rubber uh, stop thing to hold this down. I have misplaced mine, so I don't have it, which is the reason why in today's video, we're gonna be using this one right here from Ugreen, so that way I get a new one of those. So let me go ahead and, all right, got our drive. And for this one, it's not as simple to get to if you choose to use this uh, rubber exterior. Oh, there we go. Oh, you just press that and it just kind of like pops out. And there's the rubber stopper that I was speaking on earlier. All right, let's unbox our two terabyte WD Black NVMe right now. It's amazing how small these SSDs truly are. This 2230 is quite minimal and compact. And let's install this inside of our U-Green enclosure. We're gonna remove our rubber stop and put it down to the correct sizing. And then that holds it in place. There's an arrow here telling you which way to insert. Boom. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it does say push right here. So when you're ready to pull it out, you're gonna press right there, it pops out, and you're good to change it. Snap it back in. So now it's time to hook this up to our Legion Go and clone our drive. Now, I would highly recommend that you plug your Legion Go into power while doing this just to prevent any errors or accidents. Now, after plugging in this drive, you're going to use the software that we could get for free. Actually, it's a free trial it's from Macrium Reflect. Everyone uses it. It's pretty simple. You just uh, search it on Google. You click on the free trial link. You download it. You register. You know, you get the email. You get the code and you install it onto your handheld. And after doing that, you're able to hit the start. And as you guys can see, since I just added it, it's right here at the bottom, we're gonna open up the Macrium Reflect. Now, real quickly, I wanna add in a very important reason as to why people upgrade their storage or why this is one of the biggest upgrades that you can make to your gaming PC handheld. Not only will it allow you to carry more games and give you headroom for maxing out your total storage space, which is absolutely a no-go. You do not wanna run your hard drive at full at all times. That is not good. And this is exactly why I highly recommend upgrading your storage so that way you give yourself headroom to carry more games and give you that space so that way you're not maxing out your internal storage at a possible point of failure. Okay, so once you're in here, this has picked up your internal storage drive right here. And we're gonna click on clone this disc. Now it's gonna pull us up to where we can select the disc to clone to. So we're gonna hit select disc to clone to. And as you guys can see, the WD Black SN770M 2 terabyte has been discovered. I tap there and as you guys can see, the WD Black hard drive has been moved into position for cloning. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is click on copy partitions and then we wanna click on shrink or extend to fill the target disk. 
And by doing that, you're gonna make sure you actually get the full storage that we are upgrading to. And in this case, we're getting an extra terabyte of storage and I need that in full. Okay, so then we'll hit next and then we'll hit next again. And then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is hit finish. And this is gonna pop up. This is gonna run this back up now. And then you can also save this so that you can redo this or rerun this same configuration in the future if you need to. More than likely you won't, but at the end of the day, we're just gonna hit okay. And now it's gonna begin the cloning process, which will take a while. So once this is done and completed, I will return and we'll finish up the steps of opening up the Legion Go and getting our new two terabyte and replacing the one terabyte inside of here. All right, so now I'm back with a successful clone. It took 57 minutes and 15 seconds. Now, one thing I wanna note, you guys may notice that I changed the external hard drive enclosure. Now, I first tried to use the one, the Ugreen one, and I got a clone error. And I'm not sure if it was due to the hard drive, but one thing I do know is I used this exact same Sabrinth one with my Asus ROG for cloning, and it worked flawlessly. So I just switched over to this one, got it done, no issues, and it took basically an hour to do this. So just know you need patience. Now for the technical part of us ensuring that this is done properly and then opening up the Lenovo Legion Go in order to connect it and we're gonna use this adapter finally. I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. There is the Windows SSD right there which is the external one. So if I go to this PC, you can see that there's two Windows SSDs and you can see the 1.8 terabytes, which is the two terabyte versus the 951 gigabyte one. So now we can power off this entirely and open it up. Shut down. Now, as far as me opening up this device and getting inside and having all of the tools, I have this nice set that I got from Hoto. I use this for my PC builds as well. You might wanna look into this set, which I will link down in the description below, but it has all of the picks and tools and tweezers and things that you would need to work on devices like this or PCs and so forth. Smartphones, it doesn't matter. It has you fully covered. Now, when it comes to opening up the Lenovo Legion Go, you're gonna be using two screwdriver sizes, the PH0 and the PH1. One is for the actual enclosure and the other one will be for the M.2 drive screw. So I'm gonna set this off to the side. I'm gonna unplug this hard drive. I'm gonna remove these side handles. I'm gonna place this on its back. And now I can show you guys this adapter. You guys may have seen this if you watched any other installs okay so with this adapter as you guys can see we can go from a 2230 to a 2242 which is the size for the lenovo legion go literally all we're going to do is remove this adapter portion i was nervous about breaking that but it's actually easier a lot easier than i anticipated this portion obviously is the extended portion which will connect to the normal screw inside of the lenovo legion go and then this portion right here is going to connect to your current uh, M.2 2230 and extend it to the 2242. Just a press and the open. Now I did not have my, you know, internal portion. I don't recommend you use it like that. When you uh, order yours, you will have the proper uh, tool to place your M.2 down flush. All right, in order to do this, you're gonna put the screw onto here lightly. I'm just gonna hand tighten it, right? And essentially what's gonna happen is the M.2 that you're connecting to is gonna go in between the screw and that portion right there. So you're gonna take these two like this, place it on top, and then you're gonna tighten it. Due to these screws being very easy to strip, I'm just gonna do it manually instead of uh, electronically. You wanna get your proper size screwdriver. All right, so you're gonna screw that into place and now your 2230 is a 2242. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is take a PH0 screwdriver size and we're gonna remove all six screws on the Lenovo Legion Go. Another great thing I love about this set is you can magnetize your screwdriver heads right here, which is super convenient, especially when dealing with smaller screws. See, place it on the magnet. This magnetic pad comes with this Hoto set, FYI, just so you know. Looks like these screws have a little red Loctite on them. All right, we have those screws all removed. Now the next thing we're gonna need, which can be found in this set that I'm recommending to you guys, is a guitar pick style pick tool right here. So you're gonna need this to get in between 
the slim edging of the Lenovo Legion Go in order to snap it free. You wanna be obviously careful and patient with this. Kinda like inward and then upward. Yeah, like that. Also watch out for the power button while you're going around doing this because that's the last thing you want to activate while opening. There we go. Boom, as you guys can see, we have access. No ribbons, no connectors from the backing to here so you can pull that off with confidence. And the next thing to focus on is the power cable and unplugging that as well as removing this sticker from the current SSD, which is right here. Look at this. Oh, this one's a little firmer, a little more like metal. Okay, so we're gonna remove this sticker point right here, which is holding the stock M.2 in. Peel this back nicely and slowly. Now with the sticker back, we have easier access to the power cable. Oh yeah, that worked really well. So this tool right here is nice and firm. It was easy for me to kind of get in there and get it. Oh yeah. So yeah, remove that sticker. It'll make it a lot easier for you to get this off of here. And then now we have access to our SSD. So you're gonna need your different size screwdriver for the SSD screw. So make sure you do that. And make sure you're careful because you do not want to strip these screws. So I'm doing it manually to prevent any type of issues. Got that off. All right. And this is our stock M.2 NVMe drive. Uh, it has a shield on it and you can remove and reuse the shield if you choose to. And I think I'm gonna opt in for that, but this is another tedious process that you have to be patient about when removing. Patience is key with this. All right, there we go. All right, gonna place this right inside of here. This flap first. That flap second, and this flap last. And now we have our shield on our new WD black drive. Now let's put in our two terabytes of goodness and get this thing closed up and ready to go. See, I accidentally hit the little power. So this is exactly why you unplug power. I actually accidentally hit the power button just now while trying to press this in. Thankfully, our power is unplugged. And that's exactly a reason why you wanna unplug your power. It's a little different than your traditional M.2 uh, insertion. So just keep that in mind. It's not really like the same way that we're used to. It seems to be up in there just fine. So I'm gonna take that tape, place it back on that portion. We're gonna take this tape, replace it, and you guys get a nice inside look to the Lenovo Legion Go. You can see the heat chamber right there, the fan. A really nice internally well-built device. And before I accidentally power this thing back on, I'm gonna put the backing onto it and we're gonna test it. All right, let's see if we get a first boot with success. Nerve wracking. Be careful with that uh, adapter when you're pushing it in that it doesn't get like unseated from proper position because it can kind of give a little bit to the left or to the right. So just kind of push on it evenly, or matter of fact, push at the mid tier where the actual uh, 2230 is and push in there. But as you guys can see, this thing booted right up. And uh, let me do my pin really quick. Okay, so as you guys can see, we are fully running, no different than how it was on the one terabyte. And just to show you that I'm actually on a new hard drive, I'm gonna go to this PC and you guys can see 1.2 terabytes free of the total 1.81 terabytes allotted to us out of that two terabyte WD black hard drive. Now, one last thing that I need to do is a benchmark on this SSD. We're gonna open this up. Let me make sure, yep, we're set to NVMe and I'm just gonna run all of the tests. See, we just finished that benchmark. Let me grab a screen grab really, really quick. See, I got both hard drive benchmark scores. On the left is the WD Black, which I'm proud to say that the claims of up to 5,150 megabytes per second were actually exceeded. It delivered on 5,269 and a write speed of 4,142. The second one is the one you want to pay attention to. That's the one you're really getting. On the previous one, we got 5,000 
10 read, but only a 2,101 write. So the WD Black is proven to be better than his claims on his packaging, as well as outperforming the stock SSD that came with the Lenovo Legion Go. So I'm proud to say that this was a well worth upgrade. If you want to grab one of these WD Blacks, you can head over to the link down in the description below or in the pinned comment, and you guys can get all of the tools, whether you want this screwdriver set, the hard drive enclosure, as well as the adapter that I use in order to make this install work. But I can say this, I'm proud to have done this, and now I'm going to just play a game just to show that everything is fully functioning.